The runner is now completely ready, but it has no use for us if it stays here. So now what we're gonna do is bring it to the boat. We are Ben and MP, and with the help of incredible ship rides, we've been rebuilding a wooden schooner that was literally eaten by wolves. Unfortunately, our rudder didn't escape the feet and had some chunks missing. So we ended up building a new one, which we're about to bring up to the boat. But before we get there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as the boat's not nearly ready yet and there's a lot more of this to come. Cool. Before we lift this up, we've made some more measurements and we actually are going to cut up another 30 centimeters of the top. Well, we're going to move it up 30 centimeters. So we're measuring that out now. It's going to be cut and then we're going to hoist it. Now that's going to be very exciting to see because then we can start looking at where the rudder is going to go and that's so exciting. One sixty. Working hard, or hardly working. Amazing, I have no more words because we worked for ages on trying to figure out how high it has to be. And pencil's now this short from all the scribbling. And we found a solution and the solution is it was right in the first place. It's just gonna stay like that. I'm gonna just clean it up a bit so there's no gaps in between that support and the transom. And I'm gonna drink a lot of water. Hydrating drink. Food. Can we try again with you being happier? We found the solution! Found the solution! Yay! A lot of work to measure what was already right, but <laughs> I'd rather measure a lot now and it be right than skip this part and have a rudder that's not fitting. So we might, worst case scenario, have to chip into the platform a bit just a bit so the quadrant can turn properly but it should be fine it, should be, it will it will be fine now it's coming down it's gonna be finished and we're gonna go sailing I wish Every time something works, I have the song Sailing from Rod Stewart in my head. In my head, I said. 
that's how that was. Lá em cima tá certinho, This last little bit is just a guide, this hole is a guide because the long uh, three quarters of an inch bit doesn't actually fit between the keel which one day will be cut off when we go to water. We don't want to cut off yet because we want to save as much as possible lengthwise. So that's just a guide so when this gets taken off later this will fit under it and the two holes will be cut separately, one through the stern post. Stern post, yeah and one through the rudder support. Before we move over to gluing the two parts of the rudder together, we are going to drill through uh, one extra 5 eighths of an inch bar just because there's two on the lower part and the two on the top part. And it just makes sense to put one more bar through the middle to squeeze it all together. So there's two there, two there, and I'm just going to put one more through here just so the pressure is also divided evenly. We're going to glue it together with epoxy and this middle bar is also going to help the epoxy glue together the two parts here in the middle. Oh. 
All these threaded bars are now ready, holes have been made. All we need now is the epoxy to now start gluing this together, which we're also gonna use on, the, use on this support. And for that, we have Jose David, who's actually from next door. So he's actually over here with this first set that we're using on the boat of epoxy resin. We're gonna measure this up correctly, apply it inside in between this keel, make sure it's nice and clean and oilless. And then we're gonna put the threaded bars through and tighten everything. So the glue really squeezes in between, kind of squeezes out to make sure there's no air in it either. As good as done, the last third of bars being put through so it can be tightened and all the epoxy kind of squeezes out and that's a good sign. Now we're going to head over to the transom and fasten this rudder support onto the transom with the epoxy as well. So it's going to be nice and fastened with the threaded bars and glued with the epoxy for protection and sturdiness. <coughs> Não deu mais, Nico? Não deu mais? Nico, Nico tá abrindo água, Nico. Tá abrindo água, Nico. So this is what I love about this team is it's been a while that there wasn't anything to do, which I thought they weren't doing anything, but they've actually written all the numbers of what the lengths of the th threaded bar should be on it. So, oh, we don't have anything to do. Let's think about what has to be done and write down how long the threaded bars have to be. So when the moment comes like now, it, they just have to be cut. And that's amazing. So ethanol is used to put on the wood before you apply almost anything. It's always best because it takes away not only the dirt but also humidity and oil. So even if you think it's looking worse with it on, it's actually replacing the oil with ethanol and then drying out so there's nothing left. It's nice and dry to put any liquid, paint, glue, epoxy on and that's what we're doing on both pieces before we apply the epoxy.
To make our rudder a little bit more hydrodynamic, it's gonna be uh, laying down on the side so it gets a little bit pointed. You'll see what I mean. completely ready but it has no use for us if it stays here so now what we're gonna do is bring it to the boat Thank you. 
27 mesmo, 30, 30 centímetros. Não sei que é 30. Eu acho que eu me digo um. Now we're actually looking at where we're going to cut this keel for the rudder to fit and also for the propeller to fit. So we're just taking what we have to know where we need to cut it. Of course, we want to cut as little as possible, but not. We want to have enough still. So what's happening? In order to put that bar on the holes across, we need to turn the rudder and the rudder is not turning completely because the keel is still too long. So bit by bit we're shortening the keel to make it fit until we can finally find the perfect line between the queue being as long as possible but not interrupting the rudder movement. addressing now okay the issue we had to start with is that the keel was being chopped bit by bit and because it wasn't turning down there now the problem is the platform is in the way for it to turn around we might worst case scenario have to chip into the platform a bit just a bit so there is a little beam under here going across the plan is to make another beam and next to it and then we can cut a little circle to make the little arch uh, where this is going to move inside of it so it moves freely. This is now in place. Uh, we are still going to make some adjustments. We're also going to measure where the keel has to be cut any further, where the deck uh, swing platform has to be cut any further, and made, it has to look nice as well. And then we're going to take everything down, like measure where the top bit has to be cut off because that's quite excessive. Then we're going to bring it all down again, bring the rudder into the workshop, or even do it here, make all the adjustments we need 
we're gonna send the uh, stainless steel mounts to the welder. It's gonna make it look nice and smooth and stuff. And then we can start remounting it. What do you think of this? I think it looks absolutely amazing. It be, looks very heavy, but when you're actually undering it, trying to turn left and right and moving it, It looks very heavy, but when you're actually under it, moving the rudder left to right, it's actually quite okay. And that's the force that the cables are gonna feel. So I'm excited to do this now. Thank you so much for joining us on Patreon. Kenneth, Eric, and Stuart. And for donating to PayPal, thank you so much, Kurt and Alfred. Till next Sunday.